Look at all this, all this, all this. Look at, oh, it's not gonna, it's not gonna. That was a, um, this is where LiDAR could have, I think, helped out quite a bit. Um, there was a branch down, it was kind of camouflaged. I didn't see it very well. To, right, look at this. Uh, runs over the branch. I'm not touching the accelerator. I just have my foot staged there just in case I have to hit the brake. But Okay, so it wasn't too bad. It's these smaller, like, ugh, Like, it needs to really chill the down. Like, it's going so fast. It's slowed down. This is on auto max. Um, lots of obstacles here. Lots of trees down. Lots of branches that can puncture a tire. Uh, it's stopped. Let's see what it does here. Yeah, I don't know. I think lidar could help in areas like this. I mean, I don't. I just don't know how FST is going to make it. I'm not touching anything. I'll give it a couple of seconds just to see if it's going to do anything on its own. Okay, so here's kind of a situation if you're in a robo taxi, you know, no pedals, nothing. What do you do? I'm going to give it some acceleration here. One more. Come on. It's just, it's, it's not wanting to go. There we go. Slow down. See, it's not even looking at that. It almost hit that. It, it would have definitely hit that. Got a tree down here in front of me about seven, eight inches in diameter. And is it going to, see, it's so close to that. But it did avoid it. Yeah, got another obstacle here. This is really good training, I think, for this FSD system for Tesla to look at. It has, uh, it got, it got a tree branch. It's going to hit. Uh, good. Last minute, though. Yeah, this is a this is a good, like, real-world situation. But if they really want to perfect FSD to almost a uh, flawless drive... This is the weather I've been waiting for to test out FSD on, because all these drives, you know, we've, we've seen the phantom braking a million times. I got brand... Oh, damn! You heard it. I don't know if you heard it or not. It hit it. There goes... Uh, here's another branch. It's I'm, I'm not, not, not going to get hit that one. There, here's a... No. Doesn't see that one either. Here's another branch. Uh, nope. Not going to do it. Got a tree coming up. Eight inches. Maybe 10 inches in diameter. What's it going to do? These tree uh, limbs that I'm taking over that it's not seeing, they're probably about 3 inches in diameter to 4. Could you drive over them? Yeah, I think, slowly. Um, is there a chance it could puncture your tire or sidewall? Absolutely. Look at that. Oh, hit that. The, it just needs to slow the f*** down. Like, this is going super fast. Way too fast for this. Look at this. I'm, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. It should not go that fast through this. I do want to see if it gets through this area by itself because this is a nice obstacle, but I wasn't going to let it go through it at almost 40 miles an hour. So let's see here. Let's see if we can get... Okay. It just... Th this is not autonomous ready yet. And these updates are just killing me with the... With, uh, Oh, it's 10 times better. No, 10 times better is going over obstacles, stopping at stop buses, school buses. That's better. Not these little small, little tiny improvements. Oh, it's not as jerky or it's not. It's so smooth as baby Omar says. Yeah, I don't care about that. This is the uh, life scenario that needs to be perfected. This is an improvement. If we can get around this kind of changing environment, because it happens, not just in Washington state, this happens all over. The United States, all over the world. You want FSD worldwide? Look at this branches. Nope, wasn't even stopping. Hit branches. Hit like a big. Oh, that was probably about three inches. 
it was, the, the sharp part was pointing that way, so I wasn't too worried about it. But again, all right, we got a tree down. It's going way too fast. Holy shit. I'm like, it's just this, like, you can't call this FSD. You just can't. I'm sorry. You got a, you got a tree down I didn't see. You got a power line down, completely power line down. And I mean, I had, I, I skid when I slammed on my brakes just now. That's how close I got to that tree before I took over. Um, not cool. Not good. Not a good decision. Okay, FSD's on. <clears throat> Excuse me. Slams on its brakes. Not sure what it's doing here. I'm going to give it some time. I don't have any cars behind me or in front of me. Let's see what it wants to do. As you're watching this, just again, imagine that robo-taxi moment. You're in a car with nobody there, no way to remote control it. I got satellite obstruction above me, trees above me. I got no, no cell phone reception uh, for them to even communicate with the drivers. The, the cell phone towers are down. I'm going to give some acceler acceleration here because it's not doing anything. So just imagine being in this, in, a, in this perfect storm that we had where the cell phone towers are down. We got power lines. Look, it's not going to see these power lines. Look at this. It's, it's going right towards the power lines. It doesn't see the power lines. So I don't know if this is an area where LiDAR would help, but it doesn't see these thin wires. They're probably, I don't know what gauge they are, but uh, probably the size of a dime. But it doesn't see these power lines. You got another one going across from the left side of the road going up. You can't see it. It's very small. I can barely see it. But this is where I think LiDAR would definitely help. These obstacles are a great training source for, I think, for this system. Look at this. You got, holy cow. Like, I don't want to drive over that. I, <sighs> um, no, I'm definitely not driving over that. We can probably do this little turn around here. Oh man, it's nuts. But again, you know, like, how do you, how do you get, how, so FSD would have gone there. It's not gonna back up. I have poor visibility. Imagine the weather being a little bit worse because it happened here. But how's it gonna back up and now go around this one area that's that's an option for me as a human driver to find. Is FSD ever gonna get smart enough to do what I'm doing right now? To go around? I don't know. It hasn't been thus far. You know, and then you got look, all these potholes, right? Is FSD ever gonna get smart enough not to go through a four or five inch hole full of water to screw up your your wheel or your your car? Maybe, I don't know. So that's, th these are the little scenarios that need to be perfected before you call this, before you call this FSD. There we go. Now here, look at this. Oh my God, look at this, look. Power line broke in half. Oh, look, it's going right through the, oh. Like, how, how do you get FSD to go through this? It wanted to go right through the power lines. Look at this. Everything, look at this tree. Look at this. There's no way. There's no way FSD is autonomous, and no, not in these rural towns. I'm in uh, Lake, where am I at? Snohomish area? Look at this, look at that tree. Holy cow. I think this road was blocked too. Shoot. We might have to go the other way. I think I came in from the other side trying to get through and it was, uh, that's where I had to stop and turn around because, yeah. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Power lines down. Trees down. Look at this. Look at this. Look, it's going right, right for that five inch branch. 
Not happening. Not good. Not a good decision. My God, look at all this. I don't know if you guys can see the power lines down, but geez. Holy cow. This storm was bad. No cell phone reception. I forgot where I was left off talking, but this perfect storm scenario, you got no cell phone reception. So even if they had remote access like Waymo does to uh, push a couple of buttons to tell it to go forward, backward, left or right, there's no way to communicate. Look at that. It didn't slow down for that branch. And we, it's probably about a four inch branch I'm running over right now. It would totally f up my car if FSD was on. Um, so you got no, no satellite communication at many areas on this road because it's uh, the line of sight is horrible to the sky with all these trees. Thank you. Look at this. There's, let's see if FSD goes around this, but definitely going to keep my hands staged by the wheel. I mean, it's doing a good job, like, looking through the obstacles here. So sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So it's just so weird to me how this software works. Okay, well, this was a place where I turned around. I know that because these power lines were down here by the by the lake here. And it's look look, it's speeding up like a maniac. Like you got a person cleaning the streets. It's just going to 38, 40 miles an hour. You got, look at this. I mean, why would it do that? It really needs to slow down when it's in an area like this. It needs, oh my God, that truck just had a tree fall right out through the back bed. Holy cow. It just, it needs to slow down. This car just wants to go. No matter what mode you have it on, whether it's assertive, whether it's chill, whatever mode they have it on the updates, whatever it, it whatever mode it comes on, it doesn't matter. When it's in a zone, that's dangerous. Where there's trees down like this, and, and, and like it needs to somehow figure out that it's in that kind of situation and needs to automatically switch over into caution mode. Maybe you have like a little alert that says, hey, driving through caution mode to, to, to bypass caution mode, hit accelerator or something. I don't know, but it needs to get into that mode because this is not safe for it to go that fast around this kind of, these kind of obstacles. We've got a tree down here. Look, it's still going 32. Like it needs to slow down. The roads are wet. Like if I press the brake any further down, I would be skidding because the roads are wet you got debris all over the roads which makes it makes it even more of a challenge to stop like pine trees um leaves i mean everything's on the road little small tiny branches all that stuff will make you slide that much more so when when fsc tries to come to a quick stop yeah it's gonna slide right into a tree that's down let's see look it needs to get over come on slow down no oh, there's branches there right at my tire look at this look at this we've been through this already on oh see like it needs to get over to the right it doesn't see these small uh power lines this is where i think i agree with with some of the other people saying that lidar would help um i i i just don't see fsd vision seeing these tiny power lines last second until the last second which cause will cause the car to slam on its brakes and potentially slide into whatever object is in front of it where that's where i think lidar could help or super high def camera i don't know i don't know what the fix would be up for that Whew. 